Okay, so I'm just going to talk a little bit more about the composition of this painting and why I like it. Um, you want to think about guiding the viewer's eye through the painting. And what I liked about this particular picture is that this line draws your eye into here. This line draws your eye into here. And then the eyes, bam, they really get you. And then you can't really see it much, but there's going to be a wet piece of hair coming down here. Bam, right back to the eyes. So all these lines... Um, this way, this way, this way, all lead you right here to the money spot. I mean, look at that boy. Isn't he sweet? But anyway, <laughs> so um, one of the lines that I want to emphasize more than is right now. Whoops, I just used a wet brush on me. Okay, it doesn't matter. But anyway, I want this line and this little line that goes into his face to... Um, be a little bit more bold than it is right now. Just a little bit though, just a little bit. I don't wanna to do too much. I wanna keep this painting really soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with clear water and I'm gonna paint basically around this whole line then I'll blend it in right here. See, I'm gonna blur this edge. Don't forget to blur some of your edges. That's so important um, because you don't want it to look cut out. You want it to look soft and atmospheric and all that. So. Um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to blur, blur, blur right there, but I'm going to put down a pool of moist water. I don't want it too wet because I don't want hard edges on. If you put too much of a pool of water, then on the edges of the pool, you're going to get, as it dries, you're going to get these hard edges. So you've got to let it dry a little bit. You don't want it to be pooling, but you want it really good and moist. So. Um, it just takes a lot of practice to um, to figure out exactly what you need to get um, your paper to moisture level. God, I just I just did I just said that in the most unelegant way because you know I'm trying to paint right now. I'm not <laughs> not my brain doesn't want to talk and paint. It really doesn't. But um, I really want to share this with you guys. So bear with me and my inability. To speak so I'm gonna blur 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 right here this is a good place to attach right here to the background you want to think in terms of attaching your main subject to the background but I want to paint or I really want to paint around this finger I really want that finger to glow and I want there to be a little ring of white light all around this hand so it really pops it and then I'm just gonna go in here and I'm not gonna put much more paint in this area, but I do get this wet because I want it to all blend as I paint. All right, and then let me go and get my gray. I should have mixed my gray a little bit better before I started this process, but you know, I've gotta let my paper dry a little bit, I think anyway. So I'm getting some purple, um, Windsor Violet, Ultramarine, um, this green, the green is the opposite color of purple. So that's why it is a good color to use with this. Also yellow, Ye well, actually yellow and purple are um, complementary, right? So you gotta mix those together, but I want this to be a purplish gray, purplish bluish gray. Okay. And then this is might even be too dry. It's pretty dry. Um, I don't want it that dark at all. I really want this very beautiful and subtle. And I want it more blue. I'm going to add more blue and more purple into this mix. But the green is the opposite of orange, right? So you want it to be almost a greenish, purplish background to really make these skin tones pop. Really, I have no business recording this. I really need to focus, but I, I just want to show you guys this so bad. I just really am enjoying this painting, and it's just, you know, sometimes paintings just really, it's almost like they paint themselves, and um, this painting, I feel like, is one of those. It's just, it's going so great. I hope I can maintain it, but um, I'm going to get a little bit of purple and just just to keep this background 
varied. You don't want all one flat gray. Um, that one looked good. I did get this background a nice, um, good level of moisture so that, see, look how that's blending right there. That's so important to keeping your painting, um, not looking like a cutout and making it look more painterly. You've heard the term painterly. A big part of making a painting painterly is having nice soft edges, a lot of nice soft edges. Um, when in doubt, soften the edge. <laughs> you can't have too many soft edges almost. Okay, I really like uh, that. See, look how that's really making his hand glow. Yay, that's exactly what I want. And I might go in, see this is not a very good transition through here. So I might go back in here and really focus on, sorry, I didn't even have the camera on there, but I wanna transition this a little better. I don't want this. Anyway, okay. Ooh, that looks good, y'all. See this nice, and really what helps create the magic is these soft edges. And look at that. Look at that hand. Ooh, it looks so good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now, I'm sorry. I'm just real happy.